Binary numbers were not much more than a mathematical curiosity until we started making electrical calculators. Early in the first computers, people wondered how should we represent information. It turns out that binary code was uh, selected because a binary code is very simple. It means you express everything as some combination of ones and zeros. And the reason that's simple for a computer is that you can make it look like a switch. It's on or it's off. There is a electrical signal or no electrical signal. There is plus five volts or minus five volts. And so if you looked inside a computer and you went in there with a little electrical probe, where we might store, see a number stored as 010101, you'd go down there and say, ah, plus five volts, uh, minus five volts, plus, minus, plus, minus. And th that very simple thing is easy for a computer to do. The first computers used mechanical on and off switches, but researchers replaced them with vacuum tubes that did the same thing, but faster. A vacuum tube is a sealed tube that conducts electrical current as long as it is receiving a control signal. When the signal stops, the current stops. When the electrons are flowing, the tube is a binary one. When the current stops, it is a zero. Then along came the transistor. Researchers discovered that elements such as silicon and germanium were semiconductors. They allowed electricity to flow through them when they reached a certain temperature, but blocked it when they were cooler. By the 1950s, researchers had found a way to put thousands of microscopic transistors onto a single thin layer of semiconducting silicon. Transistors revolutionized and miniaturized the world of computers. Now switches could be smaller, faster, and more reliable. So a computer is a machine made of a group of identical transistors, all doing the same simple thing, all working together. But the transistors check on each other too. And it's much easier for electronics to decide whether things are zeros and ones than to decide other things. It's either there or it isn't. Uh, when it's in that format, it's also then possible to create all kinds of error correcting uh, codes so that, for instance, if you send a word, you know that the sum of all the ones in that word is an even number. Well, you send that information too so that you then check it and you make sure. And if if it isn't right, you send it again.